If you haven't heard the news yet, a few days ago, OpenAI released this new technology called Sora. Now, there's plenty of videos describing what this is and the technicalities behind it, but I'll kind of briefly run through it with you uh, just so you can get an idea as to what it is. So as you can see on its website, you can see creating video from text. In the past, you would have used some sort of generative AI tool such as Midjourney, which generates text to images. And you've got the image to image and runways text to videos too, which was kind of lacking because if you look at the quality, it's not that great, but OpenAI has just taken this to the next level, almost looking at it, you know, all of the examples look really realistic. First things first, I just wanna point out that Sora isn't available to the public yet. It's available to red teamers, visual artists, designers, and filmmakers, just to gain some feedback on how to advance the model to be most helpful for creative professionals. Now, let me show you some really wicked examples uh, that Sora has put up on their landing page. And this is kind of the infamous one that many tech uh, YouTubers have already shown, but let's run through this one as well because there's a lot going on here. And before I play it, you can see the prompt. It's a stylish woman walking down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket a long red dress and black boots, and it goes on even more. But let's go ahead, I'll click play, and let's see how this goes. All right, so you get the idea, and what Sora can do is actually generate up to a minute of footage. And as you saw, this is really taken things to the next level when it comes to text to video. It almost looks real to the normal average human eye if you didn't know about AI and all this kind of technology. Now check this example out because this is a real close up and with the close up, you need to be very detailed. And this is what Sora AI generated. That's pretty wicked. I mean, take a look at the iris, the details in it, and also the pupil, even down to the eyelashes and the eyebrows. It's to me a little bit too perfect, but you be the judge. I also stumbled upon a really cool site which houses some of the AI generated videos from Sora and Sora users. So it's at sorahub.video. And right here, you can take a look at all the videos generated. So if we go back to the top, this is one, and I'll play this because this is really cool. It's a giant cathedral, uh, completely filled with cats. Uh, there are cats everywhere you look. A man enters a cathedral and bows before the giant cat king sitting on a throne. So I'll open this up and let's play it. I mean, what you just saw was quite cinematic and you can see the camera kind of panning and angling in a certain way following the man. And as you can tell on Sora Hub, you can actually see the text prompt that was used to generate these videos. So let's play another one. This one's a Chinese Lunar New Year celebration video. So we'll go and play it. That is pretty darn good. You've got the crowd, there's a lot going on, it's busy. You know, there might be some flaws and that's without a doubt, right? But in most cases, you would have to really look in detail, really close to see those flaws, at least from what I can see with this. But going back to the official OpenAI Sora landing page, you'll see some more examples on their website right here. And here's a grandmother with neatly combed gray hair, uh, stands behind a colorful birthday cake uh, with numerous candles. Not sure what she's doing, so trying to kind of mimic a human, of course, and human gestures. But if you take a look back, not long ago, actually, even text to image was hard to replicate 
a human hand with you know missing fingers and things of that nature. So it's crazy where we're at with generative AI. It can also be on the flip side scary because you know you can see how people would be abusing this. I'm not going to suggest any ideas, but you know there's huge capabilities, huge opportunity for you know AI generated videos. But personally, with all these AI tools, I'm just looking at it from a standpoint of productivity workflow. Is this going to make my workflow easier? Is this going to make my workflow more efficient rather than something that's just gonna add more bells and whistles, bloating what is currently working and efficient for me. But yeah, with all that said, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Sora and whether you see yourself using it when it does come out and be released to the public. Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.